Casio FX570 ES Plus or FX991 ES Plus calculator allows us to find the area below the standard normal distributions curve. The total area below the curve is 1. When solving questions related to normal distributions, we need to find the area below the curve for certain sections. For example, in one question, we may need to find the area below the graph from negative infinity to negative 1. Or in another question, uh, to solve the problems, we may need to find the area below the graph from 0 to 2. So in the very next slides, I'm going to discuss with you how to use a Casio FX570 ES Plus or FX991 ES Plus calculator to find the area for certain section. Now let's switch on the calculator first. Now in order to use normal distributions, we need to go to the statistics mode. So let's go to mode and then uh, statistics uh, number three. And then so here we have a few options. We need to choose number one. Number one. Okay. To find the areas of the normal distributions curve, we don't need to provide any data. So we just go to clear screen or clear to clear the screen. And then uh, we go to shift statistic. Okay. So here we have a few options and uh, normal distributions sit under uh, number five. Okay. This is distribution. So we go to number five. And from here, we can see that we have another four options. P, Q, R, and T. Um, we are going to discuss T or options number four in another video. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, options one, two, three, which is P, Q, and R. Remember, all of this is to find the area under the normal distributions curve for certain sections. For example, let's say we would like to find the area from negative infinities to negative one. Uh, for this one, we can use P. P is to find the area from negative infinity to certain number. We are going to key in the numbers uh, inside the brackets here. Okay, so if we would like to find the area from negative infinity to negative 1, just need to key in P brackets negative 1. Okay, and then uh, since we would like to find from negative infinity to negative 1, so we just need to key in. Uh, we already have a bracket here, so key in negative 1 and uh, close bracket equal okay so this is the answer so the area from negative infinity to negative one is equal to 0 0.15866 okay so the area equal to 0 0.15866 okay let's see another case and let's go to shift and then statistic and uh, distributions again now this time let's try q eh? q so let's choose number two eh? q and uh, let's say we would like to find the area from negative 1 to 0. If you want to find the area from a number to 0, then we use Q. So Q is to find the area between any numbers to 0. In this case, we would like to find the area from negative 1 to 0. And therefore, we what we need to find is Q uh, bracket negative 1. Okay, so if we key in Q bracket negative 1, then the area is from negative 1 to 0. Okay, so we already have Q here, so we just need to key in negative 1 and then close bracket equal. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.34134. So the area between uh, negative 1 to 0 is 0 0.34134. Okay, so um, another example. Now, this times we would like to find the area from 0 to 2. Again, we still use Q because Q is to find the area from uh, certain numbers to 0. In this case, we would like to find the area from 2 to 0. So from 2 to 0, then we key in Q uh, bracket 2. Q bracket 2 means the area from 2 to 0. Okay, now this times we can use the uh, right arrow key to move the cursors to uh, here, okay? So let's use the right arrow key, okay? And as we move the cursors into the bracket and change the negative one to two, so uh, left, okay, delete, delete, and then so replace it with two, two, and then equal. Okay, so, so the answer is 0 0.47725. So the area for Q2 0 0.47725. A Q2 means the area from 2 to 0. 
So if we use Q, it means the area from a certain numbers to zero. So let's try another one. Let's try another one. So let's go to shift uh, statistics distributions. Now this time we want to find R, R, okay? So let's choose three, okay, R. Now R is to find the area from positive infinities to a number. For example, if we would like to find the area from positive infinity to negative one, then what we need to find is R negative one. So R negative one means the area from positive infinity to negative one. P is from negative infinity to uh, the uh, numbers. Q is from zero to uh, numbers. And R is from positive infinities to uh, the given numbers, okay? So in this case, we would like to find from positive infinity to negative one. So in our calculators, we just need to key in negative one, close brackets, equal. Okay, so then uh, this is answer. So the area from positive infinity to negative one is equal to 0 0.84134. So, uh, so this is the answer. So that's how we find the area under the graph for certain sections by using this uh, normal distribution functions in Casio FX570 ES plus or Casio FX991 ES plus calculators. Okay, now let's see these examples. Huh? We are asked to find the values of each of the following for a normal distribution. So the first one is from uh, to find the PZ, uh, uh, which is greater than 0 0.945. Huh? So this is the normal distribution curve. Let's say 0 0.945 is somewhere around here. And we would like to find the area from 0 0.945 to positive infinity. In our calculators, what we need to find is R 0 0.945. If we use R, then it's from positive infinities to uh, uh, numbers. And in this case, the number is 0 0.945. Okay, so let's switch on the calculators. And then so we go to shift statistics and then we choose five uh, distributions and in this case we use r okay r is number three so r uh, 0 0.945 uh, so point nine four five close brackets equal okay so the answer is 0 0.17233 uh, the area for zach which is greater than 0 0.945 is equal to 0 0.172 Tree, tree. Uh, let's see question number two. For question number two, we are asked to find uh, the probabilities uh, for Z, which is less than negative 1.816. So for this case, uh, we would like to find the area from negative uh, 1.816 to negative infinity because it's less than negative 1.816. So, which means the area is from negative 1.816 to uh, negative infinity. Just now we learned that if we would like to find uh, the area from negative infinity to uh, numbers, then we use P. Okay. In this case, what we want to find is P negative 1.816. Okay. So, in our calculators, we go to shift uh, statistics distributions, then we choose number one. Okay, that's for P. And in this case, we would like to find P negative 1.816. So negative 1.816, close bracket, equal. So this is the answer. So this is the area between uh, negative 1.816 to uh, negative infinity. Yep. So this is equal to 0 0.034685. Okay, the last one is uh, this one. We, we would like to find the probabilities for Z in between the negative 1.15 to uh, 0 0.9. Okay, um, so for the graph, uh, okay. so is the area between negative 1.15 to 0 0.9. Okay, so 0 0.9. And uh, to find the area for these sections, we have uh, two options, uh, okay? The very first one is to find the area from negative one to zero. 
Okay, in our calculator, this is equal to Q negative 1.15. But if you still remember, if we use Q, eh, that's the area from a given number to zero. Eh? Okay. Uh, and then we need to add it to Q 0 0.9. And Q 0 0.9, which is the area from zero to 0 0.9, eh, which is this area. Okay. And a Q negative 1.15 is from a negative 1.15 to zero, which is this area. Okay. So um, this is equal to Q negative 1.15 plus q 0 0.9 yeah? so in our calculator we go to shift uh statistics distributions then we go to q yeah? number two q and then it's a negative 1.15 negative 1.15 yeah? then close bracket plus uh, q 0 0.9 yeah? okay uh q so we go to shift uh statistic distributions number two eh? okay q and then it's, uh, 0 0.9 eh? close bracket equal so the answer is uh, 0 0.69087 eh? okay so this is equal to 0 0.69087 now we can also find the area for these sections by using another method uh, which we take the total area just now we learned the total area is equal to one. Eh? The total area minus the area of these sections and these sections, okay, then it will be equal to the area of these sections, right? Okay, so this is equal to P of negative 1.15. Right? P is from negative infinity to a given number. Eh? So P negative 1.15. And this area is R, okay, R, R 0 0.9. R 0 0.9 means the area from 0 0.9 to positive infinity. So um, if we would like to use these two sections, then what we need to do is we, we use 1, 1 minus this area, P negative 1.15, and then minus uh, this area, R 0 0.9. Okay, let's clear the screen first, okay? So, and we key in 1 minus uh, 1 minus uh, P negative 1.15. Uh, so to insert P, we go to shift, uh, statistic, Distributions number one, uh, P, then uh, negative 1.15, uh, negative 1.15, close bracket, and then minus uh, shift statistic distributions. Now, this times we use R, R number three, uh, R uh, 0 0.9, uh, 0.9, and then close bracket equal okay 0 0.69087 which is equal to this one right okay so yeah this is equal to 0 0.69087 so we can either use this method eh? we, we find the area of this one and then plus the areas of this one then we can find the answer or we take the total area one eh? minus these two sections uh, then we still get the area of these sections right okay so that's how we use uh, the FX five seven zero ES plus or FX nine nine one ES plus calculators uh, to find the area below the normal distributions curve.